Okay, good morning everybody. Today we are going to start Unit 8, which is entitled Keep Our Earth Safe. So, good morning again everyone. The outcomes of this lesson, at the end of this lesson you will be able as students to use vocabulary related to the earth and the environment and come up with sentences related to the theme of the unit. The content of this presentation is the introduction of the unit, some vocabulary and some practice. As you can see in this picture, so there is a globe, an earth, and it's putting a, a thermometer in its mouth, and there is a doctor diagnosing the earth. What does this mean? It means that the earth is very sick. So what causes the sickness of the earth? We're going to see. Among the causes of the sickness or the illness of the earth are First one is pollution. As you can see here, there is the globe and its coffin, and it is surrounded by smoke. So this doesn't necessarily mean that smoke is the only reason or cause of pollution. There are other causes of pollution. As you can see here, this is a kind of pollution. There are many kinds of pollution. One of them is what we call air pollution. So it is caused by factories, by the smoke of factories, and it is also caused by the smoke of cars and vehicles in general. So factories give off toxic gases and smoke, and also cars and other vehicles, trucks, etc. Then we have the second type of pollution, which is water pollution. So uh, right here you have a factory, and it is putting its chemicals in the uh, river or the ocean or the lake, etc. And here you can see a man uh, drinking water that is not uh, drinkable. So it's not good to drink. As you can see, it's full of uh, bad substances. People throw garbage in oceans, rivers, and lakes. So what do we mean by the word garbage? Garbage are unnecessary, unneeded stuff. And then we have another type. The third type is land pollution. So as you can see here, you use organic fertilizers in the land, in agriculture, etc., in order not to spoil the land. So on the other side, you have people throwing waste in the streets, which causes land pollution, and it is very bad for the degradation of the environment. This is a new kind of pollution. Many people don't believe in this kind of pollution, as we can call noise pollution. So in big cities, maybe people like in Casablanca, Rabat, Tangiers, etc., People like, pollu like this noise, but in some small cities, like in our city, Khribga, people don't like noise, so we can call it noise pollution. One of the other causes is deforestation. What do we mean by deforestation? Deforestation is cutting down trees, logging trees, and fires that cause the, uh, the uh, number of forests to decrease. These causes may lead to many effects. Among the effects that these, co these causes lead to are, the first one is global warming. So as you can see that the earth is sweating and it's burning. So it means that there is a high temperature because of pollution. So this is one of the immediate consequences of pollution. Second thing is the ozone hole. So the earth is covered by some layers and one of the layers is the ozone. And the ozone layer protects humans and other creatures from ultraviolet radiations. So when there is a hole in the ozone layer, it is a problem because the ultraviolet uh, radiations will come to our planet, and this may cause a real danger. 
The third effect, endangered species or animals that are about to extinct because they are uh, endangered. Now we move to the other consequence. Drought is a long period when there is a little or no rain. There is the absence of rain or there is what we call a shortage of rain. Desertification. What do we mean by desertification? Land changes into the desert because of the lack of rain, okay, the constant lack of rain, and also because of the climate change. These are some solutions to protect our beloved planet and Earth. One of the solutions is recycling. So what do we mean by recycling? Changing garbage and unneeded things into new useful products, as you can see in the picture here. Second solution is what we call carpooling, and this is a new solution. What do we mean by carpooling? So it is car and pooling. So as friends, for example, in a job, so we are four friends, we have four cars, so we can bring only one car and we can use it for the four of us. So we are going to uh, minimize the use of cars from four into one. So it's taking one car to work instead of many, and by doing so, you decrease the amount of smoke emitted. Now we move to practice. So this is an exercise, fill in the blanks with the suitable words from the lists. So the words we have seen, uh, carpooling, recycling, global warming, deforestation, and air. So I will give you some minutes to do the exercise, and you can stop the video and do the exercise, and then we will correct. Now we move to the correction of the exercise. So the first one is deforestation. Deforestation means cutting trees and destroying forests wherever they exist. Second one is recycling. My neighbor likes recycling old and unneeded things and makes up great things out of them. Third one is global warming. The phenomenon of global warming increases the temperature of Earth continuously. The fourth one is carpooling. My friends and I prefer carpooling as a means to go to work to produce less smoke. And the last one is air. Cars and factories cause air pollution because they produce too much smoke. And goodbye.